Hello, 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 and welcome to the stream. I am Dixie Hobo, and today we have RPR No Assist Tier 1, and we are on round 21 here in the beautiful, the luxurious Italy Imola. And before we get into everything, I don't know why I'm holding my controller, that is the wrong one. Let's get into drivers and team standings, starting with obviously the driver's standings. Uh, the button there, boom, there we go. Now, I'm checking I've got the right one. I have. Johnny Stokes is leading the way. That's the wrong fucking one because Joseph is in this one. Why the fuck? <laughs> Every single time it just loads up the wrong bloody one. I hate OBS. When it updates, it really screws up everything. I don't know why it does this every single time. Okay, let's try it again. But anyway, I hope you guys are well. We've only got nine drivers today, as you can clearly see, which is unfortunate. But hey-ho, it is, is what it is. It's end of the end of the game. We expect this with an end of a game. And unfortunately, there's not much we can do about it. Other than go around people's houses with shotguns and try and get them to race. But hey-ho, we will move on. On board at the moment with um, Audi Difa as he comes out of the pits. I'm hoping now that that has, has now worked, refreshed everything. Let's double check. There we go. So Jack is top of the table with 376 points. In second place, we have Avi with 318 so it's very, it's, well, it's not, it's quite close. 58 points separating the top two. And then we got down to Johnny Stokes in third place with 275, 101 points behind Jack. So the top three is still quite tight. Even going down to Gustav in fourth, who is one, who has two, four, eight, who is one, two, eight behind Jack. So it's quite close there, good close battle there for the top four. Uh, fifth place, we have Scotty Harris in the Williams one, in 177. Moreland is in sixth with 143. Chubb is in 7th with 120. 8th uh, place we have Speedy with 96. Adifa is in 9th with 74. Cherry is in 10th with 55. Eros in 11th with 47. Mr. Carl is in 12th with 42. El Stefano in 13th with 28. Frenzy in 14th with 24. Rob is in 15th, or tied 15th now, with his teammate Crookie with 8 points. Then we get to score, we still have Andreas, Dr. Roba, Hudzoja, and Buka Bronco. What that does to your constructor standings. Hope that's the right one as well. It is. So, top of the constructors is still the Alpine team with 4, 9, 6. 44 points behind them is the Williams team with Johnny Stokes and Scotty with 4, 5, 2. 9 points behind them. So, again, very close at the top is the McLaren team with 4, 4, 3. And uh, has shut off a little bit now. And they are in fourth with 3, 6, 5. Then down in fifth place, we have the Aston Martin with 116. Sixth place, the Mercedes with 96. Seventh place, we have the Red Bull with 79. Alfa Romeo are in eighth with 50. And finally, more points for Alfa Tauri as they are in ninth with 16 points. Uh, yet to score still is the Ferrari team with nil point. And there we go. Hey, Hobo. Hey, Mrs. Carl. How are you doing? Uh, should have waited for Johnny and Chubb to join. Um, oh, hopefully, they'll join in quality. No, it's... Unfortunately, it is what it is. You kind of make the whole lobby wait for like, for two, three people. So hopefully they'll join in quality. Um, can't win the title today. If one, no, no, you can't win yet. Uh, would have needed to be only about two points. So, so Ari's going to basically give himself another week, potentially. So we have to wait and see what happens there with that one. Right, so I'm going to be checking today the replay cam because we have Scotty. Let's have a look. I've got two replay cam now. It's not picked it up. Obviously not, because Streamlabs is updated again. As you always... Ugh. I hate Streamlabs sometimes. Just do your job. Just do your job. You've got to pick up one thing, and it's that. Just pick up the thing I want. Let's try again. Okay. No. Still ain't doing it. <laughs> just show me replay off top of the camera. Alright, let's just come off that go on to that. That's picked up something else. That's picked up something else. There we go. Okay, that's got something anyway. Let's have a look at this one. What it, look, what it looks like. Okay, so we've got some replay cam there. This is a replay of what we're seeing on board with Cherry. I can flick through and have a look at what we're seeing with Moyland. That's Moyland's screen as well as he come out of the pit or coming into the pits. We also have Scotty as well today. So um, POV of Scotty going around the track. And then we also have Robson Racer. Who has got an advert going? Because Rob is a prick. <laughs> what I will do. On stream, can I do it? Uh, I like the founder one. Oh. Yeah, look, live. 
Now get the now get the advert away. Yeah, no advert. There we go. Also, what I do want to do because you can't see me when I do that. No, no, you, the whole point you come to see me. You can't see me. So let's put that there. So when I go to replay cam, like, like so, I am still in the corner. Yeah. There we go. I like how Rob's got his little DXD logo. Well, I say there. That one. That, that, that one. That one. Right there. Right there. DXD. I was wrong there. But I'm not covering myself up. Okay, so we have got all this going now. Uh, everyone is on mute, which is good because I only don't really want to mute them unless I want to mute them. Here, but yeah, fingers crossed. So yeah, if you guys, you know, you're watching, you think oh, I want to get my stream on here, let me know. I can get your, your thing on tagged up, and we can get you going. But there we go. Um, let's read some more things. Uh, you can wait when uh, I'm good. How are you? I'm very good, Mrs. Carl. Very good. Had a good birthday with um, baby Hobo on Friday and Saturday. Apologies for stealing Nevo on Saturday. Um, right, so so far a couple laps have been set already with 10 minutes to go in this session. Abby is top with 116.0, Morlin in second 116.1, and Defa is in third 17.2, Ares in fourth at 118.0, Cherry is in fifth 118.1, uh, say Dr. Robot. Rob is in 6 of 118.4 and GDC is in 7th of 121.9. What I do need to do though, because I've just noticed, this looks very, very dark. I need to fix my screen. Because this screen is better than my TV. So I need to go to my settings and put that back on automatic. So we can see F1 in its all glory. There we go. There we go, that's a bit better. That's a bit better. Um, let's have a look, let's have a look. Uh, can we wait? Uh, uh, you can wait when there's only 11 actual racing tonight. Uh, you, you can and you can't. Obviously, like right now, everyone will be still sitting in the lobby. So, like, you know, <laughs> you can and you can't. I understand why. I, I wouldn't have waited personally. That we have a lot of time for a reason. Now people have things to do. People have got to go to bed for work and all that stuff. Like we need to get going when we get going. Me and Chubb need Moreland and Avi to take points off Williams boys today. Um, only forty-five points behind. Yes, yeah, you know what? It's anything could happen here. Obviously, Williams boys at the moment only one's in. So fingers crossed, Johnny does get the join. Make a bit of a show of it. <clears throat> I'm hoping, obviously, next game would bring. Because obviously this game we know has been a bad one for racing in general. We're going to go on board with um, Moylan actually while we talk talking. Yeah, this season's been quite bad. The season has been quite bad. The game's been bad. So inevitably the season has been harder because drivers who have liked this game in previous years and this game's not been so good have left, not played the game or hung up their racing gloves or whatever you want to put it. So I'm hoping with the new game being better we'll see a lot more drivers returning and fingers crossed, we'll kind of get another boot, uh, revitalization with the new game. Uh, thanks for the sub, but OBS uh, don't give you an alert. I know it doesn't, because I've got, I just wanted to do it to get rid of the advert. <laughs> uh, some of us have to be, yeah, is that, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So yeah, people got to be up in the morning, so that's why we have to go now. <clears throat> I'm sure they'll be in when they are, no, you know. But anyway, on, on board at the moment with Mr. Moylan himself going round. This lovely course. A couple more corners to navigate for more evidence. <clears throat> but it's looking good for um, obviously they got uh, Avi and more than have got to take advantage of the fact there's no Jack. Very wide there. I'm lucky that wasn't a validation, but more than does peel into the pits. So I was not happy with that lap. I would also put on this and that. That would help. So uh, where is Avi? Covering it on the lap. He's in sector two at the moment. I see he's pushing his way around. We have got short quality for obvious reasons, as if, if you know, short. We haven't got a, level, a full for 15 drivers, so we can't do normal quality. <clears throat> so here we go. Abby now through the final two corners of this track. Round the final, doesn't go too wide. Foot down to the floor, crosses the line, does improve, 115.6. Very good time from Abby there. 
Now, what can anyone do to beat that? Where is Erez? Erez has started his lap, and he's also in sector three now, coming round the final sector, the final two corners, really. He's only up a little kinky bit here. Scotty is also on the lap who's just behind on track, so we'll jump back to Scotty after this. Um... Here we go. Erez now. Oh, into the pits. There we go. Okay, he's bowed out of his laps. Gone by with Scotty. Who's in bowed it? So, will Scotty come straight into the pits? I'm assuming he will. And it only leaves Avi on track, who's on an in lap. So, go on board with Rob. And he's in. I've got a message to read here. Jumping on. That's right. My chat box is on. Why is my chat box on? Stop coming. The chat box should be on. I don't know why it wasn't. There we go. Um, jumping on now, just putting it out there, uh, been moving house all day and haven't done a lap on this track since last year. Might just take it, just take Scotty and Johnny out by mistake. <laughs> I'm going to get Booker Bronco in for the race to do that. Nevo, no fear, Moreland's Guard Angel is here. <laughs> he needs it at the moment because he's in second, so hopefully he can do something on this lap. I've forgotten people have their bloody mics on. I'm going to have to go into a party. I will watch, watch, watch. Hang on, let's have a look as Rob crosses the line. Don't want to, after all that, I want to miss, miss Rob's lap. I'll say that. It's only six minutes something. Okay, let's go on board. I must have missed him spin at some point. Let me just make a party for me so I don't have to hear people talking. It's normally errors, I will say. Uh, let me find someone. There we go. Let's try for the, for this one. Uh, party. There we go. Peace and quiet. Okay, so we'll go back on board with Moyland and we'll see how he gets on. Oh, he's about to start his lap, so fuck you, Codemasters, and your stupid thing. We're going to on board with Moyland, why not? Yeah, the flags are waving ahead in sector one. I think that is, it looks like it's a Aston Martin. There's a bit of an incident. Hopefully it's not on the racing line or anything. No, who is it? Don't even know who that was. I would assume. I don't know, actually. I don't know who that was. Oh, it was Ali Difa. Only reason why I know that, because... Ali Difa is still on our lap, whereas Mr. Carl is on a hot lap now. So Moylan now on the approach. Lovely, lovely stuff there from Moylan. He comes round the very quick sector of the track here. He's got a car in front of a Haas. That could be Erez or Ali D sorry, Erez or Avi. He's getting a nice little toe there though. So could it be Erez doing a bit of uh, helping out his, his opponent there? Yeah, it was Erez, because Abby's in the pits. He's pulling the Bottas. He's pulling the Bottas. Here we go now. Final two corners for Moyland. Very wide there, but doesn't inval it. Lovely stuff as well, but that is an inval, and he goes into the pits. Yeah, he pushed luck a bit too much there. And Erez is about to start his lap. We do have Sergio Perez, who has joined, which is good to see. An actual proper name, you know. Uh, Scotty now. Morland's retired. Stop. So Morland's has given up. Has he run out of time? There was time to go around again. Okay. Very strange there. Yeah, he had plenty of time to get out. It was just a 115 lap. Should have gave it a go, really, anyway. I'm bored with Scotty. Obviously, the beauty of it being like you know, a small lobby, he hasn't really got to put the pressure on himself to go out again. He can save a set of tyres and go, you know, just think, do you know what? I'm okay. And there we go. Scotty crosses the line, 121.8. Not the best time, so I'm guessing he pulled out of that lap and would run again. Who else we got? Got a lot of drivers on track. Chubb is here. We still haven't got. I'm guessing that must be Johnny Stokes. For some reason, he is now Sergio Perez and Williams. 
So there we go. Johnny Stokes is now Sergio Perez. For whatever reason, he's now on Williams. So I'm not too sure what happened there. But hey ho. Um, let me have a look. Who else we go on board with? Chubb started his lap. And he flies down at the main straight. A couple of drivers come into the line. Rob crosses it. No, not Rob. GGC crosses it. Is that the starter lap? That is the starter lap. Who have we got here? We've got Ali Difa, who's about to start a lap. A Red Bull behind of Cherry, who's invalid his lap, so we'll try and go again. And he does so. We have Avi, who's starting lap as well. Rob crosses the line. Does, does improve and only stays in seventh. Then we have Scotty to cross the line. Improved by three seconds. Five seconds and goes second place. Only just beating Moylan there. So Moylan dropped down to the second row of the grid. His teammate, Sergio Perez, is starting a lap. Why did you retire, Moylan? Why did you go around again? There was plenty of time. Chubb now about to finish his first and only lap of the session. Does keep it on the track nicely there. And there we go. Checker flag waves. Goes in the fifth. 117.003. Good time for a one lap wonder. And we have GGC there. Two seconds up. Three for 0.5 seconds up. Goes into tenth. Behind his teammate. So there we go for that. Carl's finished. So we're going to with his teammate Ali Difa. Who is giving the Red Bull behind the Jesus Cherry a nice little bit of drag. So Ali Difa crosses the line. Doesn't improve, goes slower. Cherry also doesn't really improve. Stays in eighth place. We jump on board with Rob, who looks like he's pulled out of his lap. Yeah, Rob is quite a way down on his lap. But at the same time, yeah, I thought it was that was the option. Uh, we jump on board with Sergio Perez. Or oh, Scotty. Ah, right, Scotty got to give his teammate a drag? No, he's not. Oh, they're both slowed down. What's happened here? Is have they kicked Johnny out? Is this Johnny Stokes? Like, is there something going on here? Like, why is John Sergio Perez in a Williams? Can someone explain to me what's going on? Um, for one, like that deal was good. Look, a little time from uh, Chubb there. Now, uh, would have took too long. Pit lane isn't okay. That's true. Rubber same tires. No, he would have just got round. Uh, yeah, it's Johnny Stokes on my screen. Okay, so I'm not too sure why Johnny pulled out of his lap there. Yeah, I, I thought it was, but I was just wondering why... It looked like an AI took over because he saw yellow flags ahead of him. Because I was wondering why it just stopped. So I was wondering if it was like, you know, Johnny tried to join and got kicked straight away. So it was like he was half-loaded in. And then when, obviously, his AI was going around the track, he's seen his team... Going slow, just pulled out of it. Johnny spun out on the hairpin. Gotcha. Right, that's why I missed it. Makes a lot more sense now. But there we go. Everyone has now done their laps. We have got two cars still going around the track. I don't know who they are, but I want to have a look. There we go. It's Chubb. And it is, I believe, Rob. Oh, GTC, sorry. I think they have nice worn tyres by the end of it. Um, I should have... That loaded up. Why is that not on? I did turn that on. Oh, there's you news. Okay, cool. So that's working. Oh, well, I say it's, it's not working. So there we go. Finally, it's woken up. And there we go. This is your starting grid for the race. We'll go through it in more detail in a little bit. I'm just going to move some stuff around because for some reason, the chat box, I don't like it there. I like to put it over here. Above my head. Yeah. Stick it above my head. There we go. Make it a tad bit smaller, maybe? Yeah, here we go. Right above my login. Like it's evolving. Do, do, do. Trying to get it to fit. There we go. Yeah, that will do. Right, so now we've got this work working, hopefully now. Yay. Here we go. Box, box, box. For them tires, they're dead. Look, those tires they are, they are toasted. All dry weekend. It's a right, I've got this, haven't I? It is a, look at that dry weekend. Beautiful sunshine here in Imola. Unlike in real life when basically we saw 
that bit of the track over there, as you can see, the river was basically everywhere than what we saw. Didn't see a Nomolo Grand Prix this year. And apparently, I, saw, I read somewhere, I don't know how true this is or why, but they're going to repl um, they're going to re-host Imola in 2026. Like, I'm guessing their contract ran out in 25 and they've got to do one more year. I don't know. But hey-ho. Makes no sense to me. But as the drivers pick their strategies for the feature, we can have a... I'm not going to have a look at their strategies, but I want to have... I'm, well, you're not going to have a look. I'm going to have a look. And see what car the drivers are doing. So some drivers... Looks like they're changing tyres, obviously. Looking at different strategies. Looking at what they can and can't do. Playing around with what they can play around with. We have 30 seconds now as the drivers get on the grid. So some drivers are playing around with their fuel. Seeing what they can and can't do. This track most likely have a safety car. Also picking what tyres they want to start the race on. Between the mediums and the hards. Or even the softs. You never know. It might be a soft runner. On a dry weekend, I would imagine you wouldn't see any soft runners unless it's a safety car at the very end of the race. But hey-ho, and we start this race off. So, we'll crack on with the grid order now. Avi is in first place, as you can see there. Scotty is in second. I've got tyre choices everyone on as well. So, oh, interesting. So, Avi started first on the hards. Then we've got Scotty on the mediums. Moylan started on the hards. There's a pitch stop strategy there. So, 14 for mediums. That's when you want to pit for your hards. <coughs> Doesn't give me anything else, but there we go. Erez in fourth, chosen the mediums. Chubb in fifth, chosen the mediums. And Adifa chosen the mediums. His teammates, splitting strategies there, down on the hards in seventh. Eighth place, we have Cherry on the medium tyres. Then the Alpha Tauri boys of Rob and GDC in ninth and tenth, both picking the hard tyre. And Johnny Stokes, who has now been loaded in as normal, is also on the hard tyre at the back of the grid. So, I would imagine for a hard runner, you're going to want to pit probably around lap, tw I would say, 20. Yeah, around 20 maybe. Let's do like 12 laps. Yeah, probably around 18 to 20 you want to be pitting for those hard tyres. That'll be the window there, 18 to 20, I would imagine, to pit onto your um, medium run. Obviously, if you can extend that as much as you can and go on to the soft tyres at the end, that's probably a good option. Or, you went for safety car, get a free stop in there. Means do 20 laps if you want. Yeah, I would imagine so, 20 laps. Oh, for a medium tyre, to do 20 laps. Oh, okay. What would a soft tyre do then? Choked. Right, let's hide that. Okay, so. Oh, I've really got stuck in the wrong hole. Probably five. <laughs> Never mind. So you can't do a uh, soft tire then. Well, a couple have been disqualified there from their pit grids. But hey ho. We have one light, two light, three light, four light, five light, and away we go very quickly here in Imola. Great start there from the driver at the back as Scott. He's making a run already on the medium tires in the front row. And taken first place away from Abby. Also, some of them, who else have got drop it? Johnny Stokes up into seventh already. What a start from Johnny. As Rob and GDC went the way back to the pack. And they are now 10th and 11th. But it's a fantastic start from Scotty, which is exactly what he needed to do on those medium tyres to get out ahead and to make a break for it. And it's a fantastic start from Johnny Stokes on the hard tyres as well. As we see Moylan here having a little look up the inside of Abby. Oh, couldn't get his work done there. Erez making the move or battling out with Cherry at the back for seventh place. For Cherry does hold on to that seventh for the time being as Erez has to slip in behind. <clears throat> Gonna cough a little bit there. Erez needs to make the most of these mediums. These are really wide there. That could cost him a bit of time there. Could uh, Carl make a little move on him? He does. Great move there from Carl up into eighth as Erez is losing places there to Rob as well. Rob making a fantastic move. Full Sidere is wide. Can't really do nothing about that. 
GDC can also see a potential move coming up to Erez now. As Erez is dropping like a rock to the back. And a little look again. Erez as Rob goes really deep onto the gravel. Big shame there from Rob. And into last place. All that hard work he done there has just been unraveled. And he's now back to last. <clears throat> Up ahead though. Scotty already got a huge lead to the two cars ahead. As you would expect though on those medium tyres. Avi has still got more of a company there though. Gap is literally within two and a half temps. It's going to be a close battle between these two tonight. A lot to play for. Chubb doing really well up into fifth, sorry, fourth place from fifth. Set in a purple sector there as well on those uh, medium tyres. So he's got a chance here to catch these two up and make a pass, help his teammate out as he's not here. Scotty will need at least 10 second gap before he comes in. If he wants a good shot at this. Yeah, he will. He currently can't tell what the gap is. Because apparently it's one, one and a half seconds. One and a half minutes. So God, what's happening with his hiding board. Johnny's doing very well. Though. Up in the sixth place now. So there's a great start from Johnny there. Okay, we can turn the tyres off now. Don't need to see that the whole way through. <clears throat> we have got, obviously, this help us out and see what tyre wears and stuff that everyone's on. It's great to set the fast lap of the race so far as Moreland, no DRS yet. Well, he is, sorry, DRS yet. For some reason, this is he name, was it? No, not yet, it's here. No DRS yet, I was right the first time. No DRS yet, so he has to do it on track. There's a lovely run there, Moreland. Right behind Avi. Can't get it done there, though. Still following side by side. Very close racing here from the two and three spots. Rob's done well to catch up back to his teammate after he's a little off. So very well done from him. Still very close actually. Like the, it's, I'll have a look what the gap is from Tina and the leader. 13 seconds. It's not massive. That isn't massive. They're all sharing sectors. So it's not bad racing so far. Very clean. Safety cars might be a bit, um, bit, you know, a bit hard around here with less drivers. Scotty hacks. <laughs> Scotty's there very well. Speaking of which, we have got a spinner and it is Rob and he's now a Formula Ford. And that does give us a chance though to use our replay cam. So we will do that now. Let's go on to replay cam. I will quickly just mute that so I can see the replay. But yeah, Rob has got damage there significant damage which means he will have to pit on the hard tyres as well which is not the best option for him and we will jump to the first lead of the night and here we go Rob Sim Racer as you can see here following his teammate really nicely going round the track where does he lose it will be on the curb there he's okay there still okay there bit early on the throttle oh, lucky only to lose his wing very lucky he's going to lose his wing there and he's still in the race. And there we go, there's his wing getting changed. So there we go, we'll jump on board now with one of the other drivers at the front. Scotty, two seconds gap, he's not really pulling away from these two actually. They're doing very well. Obviously now Morland has got DRS on Avi. And the gap is actually coming down. Avi's starting to reel him in a little bit. Is he using the ERS? He is. Scotty's using 62%, Avi's on 50. Moreland's got a healthy amount of ERS there, 80 or 90% there. So what Moreland really wants Avi to do now is push up to the back of Scotty, get in the DRS, or essentially get within a, not just, just outside the DRS, so when Moreland makes a move, up, move past Avi, he can slingshot up to first place. So he doesn't want Avi to get in the DRS sent really. Abby and Moreland are close together. They are very close together. So far, no moves being made here from either driver. We have one stop there made. I don't know why I'm sh I'm stirring the stops. The biggest gainer right now is Johnny Stokes. Things lose it is errors. We do that anyway by watching the race. We'll go back to this anyway. Errors not making those medium tyres work. Oh, we'll put the medium tyres back on. I like seeing what tyres and laps everyone's on. So Rob has chosen to go on to fresh mediums now. So he's done his allocation. So he can potentially pit now 
for medium mediums if he has them. Oh, Moylan is right behind the Haas here of Avi as they go into the chicane. But this is hurting Moylan now because Scotty is starting to pull away. Avi start, was reeling them in. I think now Avi's defending against Moylan. The gap between him and Scotty is massively increasing. So he needs to start thinking about making a move here, does Moylan. He, has have, he will have DRS now and a lot of overtake to use up. Scott is really pushing there. 119 1, fast lap of the race. And here we go. Morland is making that move now. You can see Scotty getting away ahead of him. He doesn't want that gap to open up too much. And a simple move there from McLaren into second place. We'll have a look as well. We'll drop down the pack a little bit as we see Johnny Stokes here chasing down Chubb. These two have been racing together or racing against each other for years and years. So they know each other very, very well. Should see some close racing as both drivers are going to be unstuck there. Chubb goes round. Don't need a replay cam for that. He was on board of it. A bit early on the power there from Chubb. He's got a way for everyone to come round. And he's going to be at the back of the pack. The only one behind him is Rob. Obviously Rob having the pit earlier for that broken wing. So, uh, gut in there for Chubb. He is still in for a point though. But at least a long way to go in this race now. No damage though which is good. Just pride. Just pride. Moreland now with clean air in front of him. It's time to open up the gap to Abby. Eight temps now, but Abby will have DRS coming through the next straight. No, that wasn't ideal for you on your uh, your team battle. Obviously, Scotty and Johnny are in first and fourth. That's not helping at all in the constructors. So here we go. Abby. Rinsing, always overtake you can. More than said, fast lap of the race, 118.9. I don't know what the hell the camera's looking at there. But yeah, not able to get anywhere. Oh, actually, he does get quite near, actually. Three temps he gained there. Five temps he gained there, sorry, on Moreland. But he's now losing that again. Cherry, unable to get close enough to Ali D to make a move. And I think Erez is out of touch there from Mr. Carl to make an overtake there. So, jumping back on board with a battle for second place. Eight point difference between Williams and Alpine as it stands if the race was supposed to end like this. Thank you, Jack, for giving me the uh, maths. Does help me work it all out. So it does, it really brings it to eight point difference. That's huge. That is a huge uh, gap being decreased there. Oh, it's more like it's a bit unstuck there on the exit. Can Abby make the move? Abby can sniff blood. He can't get that move done though. More than regains his composure. That could have been a nasty moment there for Moreland. I bet that's a bit of a squeaky bum time for him. Abby will have the DRS on Moreland. Still a temps gap. We'll see how much this decreases as someone's gone off again. And I believe that is GTC this time. It is GTC. The Chubb gains a place. So, gap goes up to nine. <laughs> Jack's confident that they're still going to win the Constructors. We'll take, a, we'll take something big for you not to win it. But you never know what can happen. Obviously, with each week, there's less and less races. <clears throat> Jump back with Erez. Erez not close enough to Carl to make a move. Oof. Erez seems to run quite ag aggressive into that corner there. That's lost him a bit of time. He has got a penalty as well for exceeding track limits. Nine points in the gap now between the Williams and the Alpine in favour of the Alpine. With Chubb gaining that place there on GDC. We're going to jump back. As we can see, Moyland open up that gap. And there's nothing Abby can do. The gap is now 1.2 seconds. Abby will not get DRS here. And he has kept him three seconds of Johnny of Scotty, sorry, Violent. Yellow flags are waving again, and that's, this time Erez and could Chubb gain another place without having to do anything? I think he can, and I think he will. Great move. Well, I say great move, but Erez has come back. Erez come back at him. Was there a yellow? Oh, was it yellow flag? I was telling Chubb that he couldn't make the overtake. Hasn't Chubb got Twitch? I'm sure Chubb's got Twitch. 
I remember watching Chubb's Twitch last week. Let me have a look. Chubb. Has Chubb got Twitch? Let me have a look. Let me just write in RPR. See what comes up. RPR. I was sure he had Twitch. No. Okay. Right, rapid. Rapid. Pixel racing, maybe. I'm sure he had Twitch. RPR underscore Chubb. Yeah, yeah, Debbie Chubb. Okay, we have got a thing of Chubb, so we'll have a look. Okay, yeah, replay cam. Did he get a yellow flag there to tell him to come to give the place back? Well, let's turn that off now. Okay, let's go back a little bit. I wonder if he got a warning to say, yeah, he did. Okay, so we go to the replay cam. Okay, as you can see here, we can see in the corner the stricken errors. It was still yellow flags, technically, so he was told to give the place back. It's a bit of a weird one, actually, to be honest, because as you can see, it's yellow flags in the corner. You can't really see yellow flags in the corner. As he gets past, it goes to green, and he has to get the place back. Uh, could you guys see that, actually? Yeah, you could, yeah. So, here you go. Up top corner there. For some reason. It's a bit silly, but there we go. Chubb loses out of place, and he'll have to do it all again. This time on track. Let's turn that off. There we go. On board now with Chubb, and he's chasing down Erez. Um, you want to see, sorry, you want to see uh, his ERS, 51% more than his ERS, they're very, very well. Abby's on 3%, but crucially, just could have clawed back into the ERS there. He has done as well. Abby manages to get back into the ERS of Moyland. Moyland's lost out a lot of time there to Scott. Has he made a mistake? 23% ERS for Scotty. Low fuel as well. Let's have a look on board with Sharp. I like a feel an overtake coming. On those medium tyres. Medium versus medium. Obviously, both drivers have had their moments. That's why they are down in 8th and ninth. DRS wide open now for Chubb. Six tenths the gap. How much is he going to decrease? Both drivers must be defending. Oh, sorry. Both drivers are using the RS to attack and defend. And Erez does enough to stay in front of Chubb. I will try it, but it's exciting racing. Uh, Moylan looking good though. Yeah, Moylan's looking okay. He's, I think there's been a uh, you must have made a mistake somewhere because that gap was quite big, and it wasn't that big earlier. So I'm gonna have a little look and see if I can see if Moylan had a bit of an off somewhere. Is he struggling? Yeah, the flags are waving. Who is that? I believe that is GDC again at the moment. It is GDC at a bit of a moment. Oh, who else at the moment? No, oh, Carl. No, Carl. And loses that two places there in the process. I'm going to get sliced, apparently. So, if I do die, I have a, a slice wound. You know who it was. It was Lexi. So, that point advantage back to 10 now, I believe, if, I'm, if my maps is correct. Oh, is it? Yeah, 10. I'm sure Jack will tell me in a minute. Ooh. Already 10 seconds gap between Erez and Cherry. Yeah, I think what it is, these two are now battling, so it's costing a lot of time between Erez and Chubb. <clears throat> Chubb's definitely getting held up there by Erez. And it doesn't really help or make a difference because obviously Erez has got a pretty penalty. So it ends up this. Chubb will gain seven places anyway and Erez will lose two places because Carl is now right behind this little battle. And another penalty. That's about six, nine? Nine penalty. Oh my God. Nine second penalties for Erez already. He keeps going like this. He'll be in the squad by the end of the race. 
So, Chubb now chasing down Erez, <clears throat> being held up a lot. <clears throat> Actually, the gap's coming down a lot. <clears throat> I think this battle is actually pushing Erez along. He is catching Chubb at a rate of knots. So that's a whole second gain there on that lap. It was 10 seconds last lap. It's now 9 seconds. <clears throat> Chubb is now using the ERS just to regain ERS. He's not using any ERS there. He's just going to save the ERS. Use, let uh, Erez pull him along a little bit. So these two need to work together now to get back to the pack. And up on that pack, we do see, what well, we see quite a, a lot during RPR, is Audi Difa and Cherry battling. These two always on track together. They always seem to be battling each other. No matter what's happened in the race, these two are side by side. One behind the other. Normally with Audi Difa ahead of Cherry. So we'll see how this battle pans out. Cherry on 18% ERS. Uh, 33% as we do see Scotty pitting now Scotty pitting from the lead on lap 13 his tyres on 50% on the rear so not very healthy on them tyres and he will drop back he should be just in front of this battle he doesn't want to get involved with this battle between, uh, between Adifa and Cherry where are they now oh so Adifa's pulled into the pits to pit Cherry stayed out will he get out ahead He's pushing to get out ahead of his teammates, and he just about does. Scotty now has got his brother-in-law ahead of him. Which is not going to help his chances, really. He gets held up by him. So, Cherry's opted for one more lap to try and see if he can stretch, and he can't. He's gone round, and that's out. That's an out from Cherry, and Cherry has got... A cam on, and we can see a replay of that as safety car has come out. That is unfortunate there for Scotty, who has just pitted. Actually, loud, sorry, who has just pitted. So we're going to go on a on board look as well with Cherry. So as you can see here, Cherry at this point has just got on behind. If we cross up here, he's just got in front of his brother-in-law. Lovely round the first corner, fine round the second. Third is okay. He's right now. He's got to think. I need to push. I need to try and get in front of Ali Difa. Doesn't make the best turn there. Hits the grass. Kicks the over. Oh, kicks the throttle a bit too early. As you can see, we'll watch it again. So at this point here, he's ran a bit wide. As you can see, he's slightly off track. His rear wheels are on the gravel, and he basically puts his foot down a bit too early. There, at that moment, and at this point here, he has lost all control, and dead. And there we go, that ends Cherry's race for the night. So we will turn off his stream. You know, no point in seeing that anymore. And we'll go back to looking at the race as cars are coming into pits. So, Moylan pitted and able to stay out in front of Scotty on the medium tyres. Ali done doing the same. So Scotty losing out massively there. And he will be in third on the harder tyre as well. Johnny Stokes, his teammate, is in fourth. So Scotty potentially will be letting Johnny Stokes through and letting him battle for the lead of this race. Ali Difa has pit, just obviously pitted as well that before. He, well, I don't know, you can't tell now what would have happened between him and, and Cherry because Cherry caused safety car. Erez just pitted now for hard. So is Chubb. Potentially, if these guys had extra, you know, if they had extra mediums to use up, I would, and I'm back of the pack like these guys are, I'd come in again and put on mediums. GDC has put on a fresh set of mediums, and so has his teammate Rob. So these guys doing that strategy, putting on fresh sets of mediums. Fuck's sake, I looked in my mirror, seeing where Scotty was on the exit of the curb and spun in the rears. Yep, we caught it all on stream, mate. And thank you for you having the replay cam, because that actually was a, a big help to see what happens here. But there we go. Unfortunate, mate. But there we go. Well, it's, it, is, it is racing, in it, I suppose. Um, I'm wait, I want to see if Scotty lets him go. I'll, if I was Scotty, I would run off track deliberately and let him through personally I don't see why you can't do that 
But anyway, uh, who else? Anyone else going to come into the pits and put on fresh mediums? Oh, Chubb. Chubb's heard my advice. They've gone, do you know what? I'm doing that. Obviously, you'll lose that one place to Mr. Cole. But we'll be on the brand, brand new mediums. The freshest of the, of the mediums. And if I was see, if I was Ali Difa in areas, I've done the same. I think, to be honest, RP masterclass. Well, he listens. He listens to the commentary, mate. You know, he get all the best advice from here. I'm, I'm a, I'm a award-winning, you know, race engineer, mate. Race-winning race engineer. But there we go. Uh, we'll jump on board with who are we going on board with? How many how many penalties there he's got now? Still on nine? Yeah, he's still on nine. Okay, so right now, um, if I were to add the fan errors, I'd probably stay out now. There's no point in doing it. Obviously, Scotty had the opportunity as well to pit and put on medium if he had them. These guys obviously might not have the extra mediums. Obviously, mediums, there will be a struggle to get to the end, but with a lighter car, you know, cars are now lighter on fuel when the race goes on. The, the tire wear should be a bit better, so they should make it to the end quite happily. Obviously, in an ideal world, safety car would come out a few laps later for the, um, the drivers that was on the hard to start off with. But I'm sure they'll take what they can get. Mediums and hards are not too different around here. I want to see if these guys... I don't think anyone else is going to pit now. I think you'll lose too much places if you do choose to pit. I would imagine... Team to come will be in this lap anyway. Or the next lap, sorry. So there we go. We'll wait on now for Rob to come round. Rob's in no rush. Because right, he had to do a whole other lap anyway. So he can take his time. Just crawl back to the pack. Make sure he leaves enough space to get his tyres warmed up. So he's got the hottest tyres possible. To make the attack on his teammate. Currently, as it stands, I I would imagine Scotty will let his teammate pass quite quickly into the restart. Like I said, if I was in his seat, I would probably went ran a bit wide on purpose and let him through now, knowing that he's on the faster tyre and fighting for a potential championship. But this is great points for the Williams team, fourth, third, and fourth. Rob has caught up to the pack, as we can see Chubb now. So safety car will be in this lap. Most likely, or most definitely be in this lap, but you never know with this bloody game. Moylan's got a bit of a gap there between him and his teammate. Here we go, safety car is in this lap, so we'll jump on board with Scotty. Actually, no, I want to go, I want to go on board with Johnny, because I reckon Scotty will let him through. I don't think Scotty's going to put up much of a fight. I think he'll be letting his teammate through quite quickly into the restart here. So I want to jump on board with Moylan on the actual replay cam as well. I want to see when he goes. Still getting those tyres warmed up. He has gone now as well. He has now gone. Does he catch anyone out? Looks like a little bit from Avi. Avi does get caught out a little bit from his safety guard restarts, I've noticed. It's a good restart there. And Johnny, will he make the move on his teammate? Will Scotty defend it? Scotty is defending it. Okay, so Scotty's used up overtake to try and stay ahead of his teammate. I'm not sure what the game plan is there. Because surely you'd let Johnny through to try and keep in touch with the two drivers ahead. Scotty's thinking of himself right now. Yes, yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking as well. Is Now he's defending him. Scotty has defended his teammate there. Johnny's all over the back of him. Scotty finally yields and lets him through, but the saying too little too late kind of comes to mind there because now Johnny's got 1.4 seconds to gain on Abby. Should have let him, done, let him through earlier, I think, personally. 
If I was if I wasn't in Scotty's ear, I'd be going, let him through. Come on, man. Oh, there we go. I'm not in Scotty's ear. Johnny in now third. 1.2 seconds on Abby. Abby six temps behind Moyland. So these three, even actually Scotty skate, he's staying with. So these four are now running away a bit a little bit now. Gap forming between him and Abby Defa of three seconds already. Abby sent the fastest lap 118.3. There is a bit too far away from Adifa. Could be under threat here from Carl. Carl on the medium tyres. He will be a lot faster. Erez again, very aggressive into these chicanes. But does make a huge gain there on Carl. But then Carl reels it back in again. So the medium tyres have a lot more grip. Brand new than the uh, hards as Erez runs a bit wide there. Carl needs to get past Erez quickly as he can to make the most of these um, medium tyres. Chubb's probably willing Carl to do the same as well. Both the drivers on the mediums. Carl might get a bit, sorry, I mean, Chubb might get a bit impatient behind Carl and try and make the move on him before. He gets past Erez. So right now, he's being held up a lot. On the lap newer tyres as well, this Chubb. He's looking. He's having a little look around. DRS is enabled. It won't be on this lap, be the next lap. Carl used up overtake there to try and close in. Chubb's not going to use up any at the moment. Erez, 60% overtake. But Carl still not close enough yet on the back of that Haas. Whether Erez has opted for a low strat, a low, sorry, a, a, a low downpour setup to try and get some more top speed. I don't know. As Carl makes a little look there. All up the inside there. But Erez was, was aware of it. Defends it lovely. He wasn't defending there, just lots of time through that lap. But yeah, fair enough. Another penalty for Erez. He is really struggling. Yeah, Chubb, Erez does look quick on the straights. He's massively quick on the straights. He has now got DRS to Carl's teammate, Adidifa, ahead of him. Carl makes a lovely exit there, though. I think Erez had to use the area. Yeah, he did have to defend that one. He saw what the drag was there. More than a fast lap of the race right now. This is not going to help Carl's race at all. Having another bad exit there from Erez though. This could be what Carl needs. But, they, but the uh, DRS just going to come into play to help Erez as Carl looks left, looks right. Can't make the move done. But even with the DRS and the slipstream and everything else with late diving. Oh, you have to back out of that one. That car is rapid in a straight line. That has very, very quick. Chubb now sees the opportunity to make his move past Carl. Carl defends it lovely. And the chicane comes to his rescue. And there we go. It stays where they are. As Oh, is that Rob making a move there? Rob making a brave move around Chubb. Not able to make it stick, but fantastic opportunity there from Rob Sim Racer. Didn't see that coming. Very punchy from Rob. I love it. Love it from Rob. This is a lovely battle happening here between these drivers. Lovely battle for fifth place between Ere Ali Difa, Erez, Carl, Chubb, and Rob, all looking to try and make moves past each other. GTC is on the full of the pack, and Ali Difa really falling back from the top four now. Eight seconds to gap. So we have two little packs forming. All the action right now happening back here. Erez so close behind Ali Difa. Oh, well, look at the top speed he gets. He gets a really poor exit there, Ali er Erez. So, DRS open. What's his top speed going to be? Is he going to make the move done on Ali Difa? Looks like he's going to have a lot of straight line. 207 miles an hour. And he hits the brakes. And he still can't make the move done. 207 miles an hour is ridiculous speed. From such a short, a short straight, really, if you think about it. Compared to some other straight we see on this Grand Prix circuit. 
very, very quick. What is it going to help Erez is the penalties he's got. Because right now, all this battling <laughs> is putting him last still. He has got 12 seconds of penalties, I believe. He has 12 seconds of penalties. Lovely helicopter cam here. As we see, all five cars in one frame. For a split second, anyway, at least. So, Carl, at the moment, a lot of ERS being used. Chubb, 30%, 40%. Rob's using about 25 to stay with him. Erez on 14. Ali Diva's on 48. Ali Diva's doing really well considering he's leading this pack. Erez now. Can he make a move done again? Can he try again? He's a better exit. He's not getting the exit out of the final corner. He needs to be close enough to Ali Diva, who gets fantastic launch at the final corner, which does enough every single lap to stay ahead of the Haas. Carl, on the other hand, he's just waiting to buy his time as Rob making another look on Chubb. Go on, Rob. I love this from Rob. Lovely punch stuff from Rob here. Trying all he can as finally Carl makes the move around the outside of Erez. Fantastic overtake. And he is in sixth place. Erez didn't see that coming at all. It's a great move there from the Aston Martin. And he's now up into six behind his teammate. Fantastic overtake. And now, what can Chubb do? Can Chubb make the same move on Erez? Can Rob come in and take take a place from Chubb? Or can Carl get his teammate? As look at this, Chubb making a look round left and right around Erez. Still can't get it done. Rob right behind trying to pick up the pieces. What a battle here we're seeing. This is for fifth. This is amazing battling. Great drive from everyone here. Now, what can Carl do? Can Carl get past his teammate here? Will LED for fight this? No, he's not. He's letting him go. Look at this. This is teamwork here. We're seeing. Going side by side. Carl is being let through by his teammate. LED for will just feed back in. Beautifully done there. And Chubb couldn't make the move to pass Erez either. Fantastic driving. I am keeping an eye on Moylan and Abby. The gap there is six temps, five temps now. But at the moment, this battle here is amazing. I can't take my eyes off of it. Oh, Rob's round. Rob's 360s. Oh, no, Rob. I think he's done the exact same thing Cherry did there. And lost it. But he's still in the race. No damage. Just a bit of pride there. Erez looking again on Chubb. Oh, Chubb's got past Erez, sorry. I take it back. Chubb's just flown past Erez during all of that. I will have to get a replay cam of that one. And we'll see a little replay of Chubb making a move past Erez. That was a fantastic move there. And we've gone quickly jump to Abby. Abby of DRS now on Moyland. I will jump this back for a second. I'll get this ready for a minute. But here we go. Abby on Moyland. DRS open. He can't get close enough into turn one. It's very close now. But Moyland, look at the overtake he's got at ERS. He's got 80%. Compared to Abby's 10. So Moyland is very comfortable. He's letting Abby have a little you know, play. It's like cat and mouse in Moyland. Having a little play with him. Anyway, we'll jump and have a look at this replay cam here. So this is the move of Chubb on Erez. Through the chicane, Chubb gets a fantastic launch out of that corner. And he goes swinging around the outside. Similar to what we saw Carl do earlier. And it is a great move. Side by side. Just enough room there. Wheel to wheel racing. As Chubb just about gets ahead before the next corner. Erez battled it all the way to the end, but had to yield it eventually. Fantastic driving from the pair of them. And we'll jump back on board with the leaders. So, let's have a look now. The gaps between Carl and Aladifa is one second. Chubb all over the back of Aladifa now. Obviously, the mediums are in their element at the moment. Ten lap old. Could be starting to fall away. 30%. Now they're okay. The hards also on 30%. So about a, about the same really. With three with two lap difference. Same about where. Oh, hang on a second. Can we see a move? No, we still can't. Still can't. Jump back on board with Chubb. So Adifa will lose ERS to his teammate. That could be crucial now. 
But Carl now, 1.2 seconds up the road to his teammate. And Difa is rinsing though, his ERF to try and stay ahead. Sharp has nothing to really fight with. He's only on 5%, so it will work actually. So good defense there from Anadifa. Good saving. Better for me, Abby coming second uh, behind Worland. Here it is. It is obviously better for you. Oh, here we go. Chubb making a move around the outside of Aladifa. Aladifa holds it up, though. Great defense there from Aladifa. Can Erez make the move back? No, he can't. Great defense there. That seems to be the key place for overtakes on that hairpin. To run wide and try to get around the outside. Obviously, a bit of risk involved in that. During that, we did see Rob get a penalty. And now Erez with the... What, fourth penalty? Fifth penalty now? 15 seconds of penalties he will have now. Definitely going to put him last on the grid. Obviously, everyone at the moment will score a point. So, if, if they all finish the race at this point, they will score a point. So, we're going to... Rob's actually catching up as well. Rob's got a bit of pace today. Quite impressive, Rob. Doing very well. Now, here we go. This time, Chubb's going for it. Using his DRS. And if I did get DRS on his teammate, there's a, I think Carl slowed down there to help his teammate to defend. And he does brilliantly there to defend against Chubb. Fantastic work there from the after mine. Oh, Diva has dropped back. Yeah, he did. Yeah, I thought he did. I did think he did. That was good. Good team play there from um, Aston Martin. And a good awareness from Carl. Yeah, the flags are waving. And that's Rob round again. Oh, Rob. We'll have to have a look at that in a minute. Let's see what happens to Rob. Let's get the replay cam going. Let's see what happened to Mr. Sim Racer. As we see Chubb looking again on Ali Difa. Can't get it done. As Carl once again slows down to give his teammate DRS. But this time, oh, can he, can he hold it out though? Ali Difa. He can just about. So we'll stay on board quickly and see this little battle pan out again Carl drops back to give Adifa DRS to defend Adifa using all he's got to stay ahead of Chubb We're all both on the same ERS levels here Chubb this time knows he can't do anything there and pulls off that one stops that attack so we'll jump to this replay cam quickly and here we go so it's Rob on the approach as G6 is the penalty there three seconds so on the hairpin here what, what does he do Oh, just a throttle down too early causes a spin in third gear and luckily enough no damage but just lost a lot of time there really and we go back on board now this time Chubb gets a much better exit than Adifa alongside but again has the pull back Adifa lives, gives him the room though but Chubb can't make the most of it the grip now probably starting to fall away from those mediums and the hards coming into their own now the Hards are very much a Texas family. They're coming into their own as the mediums now <laughs> are going to start to fall off. Yellow flags are waving again. It's Rob around again. Oh, he's lost it again. I think his tyres must be cooked at this point. Just lost it on the traction zone there. We'll have another look with Rob and see what happens. But right now, I'm just fixated with this battle here. Moreland has pulled out a 1.3 second gap to Avi. So, anyway, we'll jump on board to this replay cam. So, Rob runs a bit wide there. And that caused him to spin. Actually, went a lot earlier than I thought he did. Did he spin again? Did he have another little moment? Last, oh, no, he didn't. He just had a bit of a moment there. So, we'll have a look again. Looks like he just went a bit wide. Yeah, and it's lost it. Big shame. Back on board now with this battle here with Aladifa and Chubb. Also with Carl, obviously giving his uh, teammate a lovely helping hand. Oh, and a penalty for Aladifa. That's not going to help. That means Chubb will gain that place. 
anyway based on penalties. So now I think it's in best Carlos Basenjo just to try and get away now. Although having Alidifa there is probably the best defence he can have. Because Chubb really can't make a move past Alidifa. He's struggling. The other flags are waving again. That's just Rob getting in the way. I think there is one's really wired to stay out of the way of these uh, front runners. Well done there. Scotty's actually got fell off a little bit as well now of this pack. So now but about well. The front three really spread out, front four spread out. It's just this battle for the uh, fifth place that we're seeing. So Cole's tyres starting to look a bit nasty now. 50% with two laps to go. Medium, so the hards are actually in the better place, I think. I think it's probably a good shout now for Adifa. Yes, he's going to lose out to, to Chubb anyway, but he's going to help his teammate. At least stay ahead of Chubb. I think if Chubb got past Adifa, he would put Carl under a bit of pressure, which he doesn't need, it, to be honest. He doesn't need pressure if he doesn't, he doesn't have to have it. That's the money to switch. It doesn't matter because Carl's round. Oh, Carl. All you have to do is keep it on track, mate. Oh, no. That's the money. I think that would have been a good option if they did switch, but I'm, that's a big, big shame. There, there's no option for doing that anymore. GDC gains a place there. But now, Aladifa has got nothing to help him along. It is now under threat from Chubb. And I don't think he's ever going to do anything here. No DRS. He's got overtake. He can't even use any. Oh, Chubb's going to make the move. And up into fifth place. Aladifa's just got to sit and watch. Helpless there, Aladifa. Oh, Aston Martin be kicking themselves. That was a good scoring opportunity for them to. As Carl's into the pits as well. Going on for soft tyres probably now. He is soft tyres there. Rob's already on the soft tyres. Maybe going to have a, a little fast slap attempt. So we'll jump on board with Aridifa, who's already losing that on DRS and lost DRS to uh, Chubb. He will not have it again. Right now, as Moyland does start the last lap of this race. Fastest lap, 117.8, throwing the gauntlet down. All he's got to do now is cruise to the line. And Avi, three seconds adrift. What's going to happen between these two? Erez gets another penalty. 18 seconds penalties now, Erez. He is going to be way at the back of the pack. Oh, no, he won't be actually now, because now Carl's pitted. So now... At least today dropped down to eighth. Is uh, Eris, so not too bad. Johnny gets the penalty as well. Obviously, Johnny's nowhere near anyone, so it's not going to affect him. That's a bit of a shame. But there we go. We're just waiting now. Everyone's really gapped out, other than uh, this battle here for Ali Difa and Chubb. Still can't make the move done. Gutting for Ali Difa. He's going to have to try and make another move, maybe down into this chicane here. Well, after chicane, sorry. Oof, being very careful now. I think they're just trying to get to the end now at this point in the race. But you're going to jump back to Moyland. He's going to potentially win this race now. Only one more corner to navigate. It's a great race for Moyland. He's done very, very well. To the line. And he wins the Grand Prix. Abby comes in second. Johnny in third. Scotty comes in in fourth. And now we've got battle for fifth. Where Chubb will take fifth place. Quite easily as well. He's got a three second gap. Three seconds to kind of play around with. By the default and a full on 18. But there we go. Chubb takes fifth place. A default will take sixth. Erez takes seventh. But he'll lose out 7th to GDC. And there we go. In 7th place, GDC. Everett drops down to 8th. They're waiting for Carl. Who's on a potential of a fast lap here. Using all his overtake he can. Rob comes in 10th as well. Is he being lapped? And what can Carl do? Can Carl steal the fast lap away from Moyland? Lovely stuff now. Final corner. 
What can Carl do? Races the line. Needs to be a 117. Oh, he's just shy of it. 118. Unlucky. And there we go. End of the race. P9 for Rob. For Carl, sorry. Uh, Deep for driver today. Yeah, I think so. Done very well. Johnny did obviously Johnny as well. But, um, do you know what? That, that middle pack, they were brilliant. Good little battle there for fifth place for everyone involved. Excuse me. Okay, so, for the final time in this race. Oh, there was rain due to come as well. Moreland will take the race win and the fastest lap as well. Um, so four points on Moreland. Abby comes in second. Johnny in third. Scotty in fourth. Chubb does, does well actually to come in the fifth. Ali Difa in sixth. Seventh is GDC. Eighth, Erez. Ninth is Mr. Carl. Tenth is Rob. And our only DNF for today was Cherry. So there we go. Um, we will quickly look at next week as well. Uh, let's have a look what we're racing next week. Do, 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 do. Where's the calendar? There it is. Okay, so next week we have the penultimate race of the season, the Netherlands or Zandvoort Grand Prix. That will be um, the 9th of June. Um, for me, I am done just for the streaming for today. Obviously, nothing else to do. Um, I will be live again next on Friday for my own POVs. If you want to watch full commentary, <clears throat> check out um, DXT Robson Racer for TTFL Tier 1 and DXT Moyland for TTFL Tier 2. That'll be at 8 o'clock on Friday. On, and then we have RPR, Robson Racer, RPR Tier 2 racing this race here. That would be, again, myself featuring. If you want to see full commentary again, that is with DXT Robson Racer. And then on to Saturday where we have the F2 SL uh, if you want to watch that, it'll be Nevo Gaming and again me featuring as a racer with Moyland and Rob. Um, but yeah, I'm back again on Monday. Um, thank you everyone watching. Thank you to uh, Rob. Um, points again. Yeah, do you know what? Done very well. Got a point on. I say point, point, singular, singular, point singular. But well done, well done, Rob. Um, good, good team points as well for your team. Oh, yeah, well done. Thank, uh, thank you for Jack as well for telling, uh, updating me on points and stuff and chatting away. Uh, Cherry, uh, Moyland, Nevo coming in as well. And Mrs. Carl, obviously. But yeah, from me, I am done. Thank you very much. I will see you all next week for the... What's that? I said it earlier. I forgot what it was now. Zamfort. For the penultimate race around Zamfort. Until then, good night.